My thoughts often wander through these upper South Carolina hills that shelter the university, that forms a common bond for many thousands of people who have studied here, or taught here, or worked here. There's something in these hills that has touched every one of them, something that has rubbed off on them in varying degrees, something that has built within the breasts of all Clemson men and women an enduring spark akin to an eternal pride. There's something in these hills. It was here when a handful of fledgling faculty members greeted a relatively small band of 446 students more than 100 years ago. That was shortly after convict labor had completed an administration building and clock tower that still dominate these Blue Ridge foothills with a timelessness and serenity that impart inspiration and strength anew each time they are looked upon. There's something in these hills that has endeared itself to an endless procession of administrators, teachers, students, secretaries, and workmen. Hundreds of names pass through my consciousness, names of people who gave selflessly of themselves to build the institution nestled here, and who at one and the same time mined the priceless something the hills contained and returned to them still more of it. There's something in these hills and from them we have drawn the power to transcend the stresses and strains that tug away to make things come unglued in these disquieting times. The power to cut through such modern concepts and such modern facts as generation gaps, communication gaps, and ideological gaps. There's something in these hills that has bound together a man of over 90 and a woman under 20. Something that has given them a common ground on which to stand and a start toward bridging and eliminating and gap or any stress or any strain that might try to make unglued whatever they seek for themselves as they move out of these hills into the mountains, the plains, the oceans, the forests, the skies, and the storms of life. There is something in these hills that you and I can't define and others can't understand. A wave of warmth always surges through me when outsiders say, I don't know what it is about you Clemson people, but your undying love for Clemson is admired by everyone I know. There's something in these hills, and I suspect that's what it is. The ability of an institution through the unending dedication and greatness of its people, its administration, its faculty, its staff, its students and alumni, to impart to all it touches a respect, an admiration, an affection that stands firm in disquieting times when things around it give impressions of coming unglued. There is something in these hills that brings together and binds together and holds together men and women of all persuasions, of all heights, sizes, weights, and cultural backgrounds. Something that cuts across every difference, spans every gap, penetrates every wall. Something that makes a man or a woman stand tall, feel better, and say with a high pride to all within earshot, I, 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 I went to Clemson. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I can't tell you how excited I am to welcome you to the 2021 Spring Ring Ceremony. My name is Jack McLeod, and I'm the president of the Clemson Student Alumni Association and Student Alumni Council. It is an honor to be here with each of you today as you participate in one of Clemson's greatest traditions. This past year has been a year like none we have ever experienced. As students, faculty, staff, and families, we have faced challenges that are beyond anything we could have ever imagined. We became virtual students and learned to navigate social distancing. Our new normal includes wearing a mask wherever we go, protecting ourselves and those around us. We have worked together and leaned on each other during a time of uncertainty. We have learned the importance of showing our love and, to, and support to all of our fellow classmates, friends, our beloved Clemson family, and the entire country. We have joined together as one voice to show the world that we are committed as a university, a community, and a family to uplifting one another and doing our part to erase social inequality. Our generation will forever be unique and even more strongly united for all that this year has placed in our paths. That is why this ring and this ceremony is so important. Placing the Clemson ring on your finger today not only signifies that you are close to graduation, 
It is a forever reminder of your time and your life and your experiences while you were here on Clemson's campus. It will also serve as a connection to the many alumni you will come to know throughout your life after you have crossed a future stage to receive your Clemson diploma. It will forever connect you to Clemson and to each other, and it will forever remind you of this day. We are honored to have so many special guests with us, from all of you students receiving your Clemson ring and your families who have joined us for this special occasion, to our guest speakers, who will provide a glimpse into what the Clemson ring means for the entire Clemson family. First, please join me in welcoming the members of our distinguished stage party, our university president, Dr. Jim Clements, Interim Vice President and Dean of Students, Dr. Chris Miller. <laughs> President of the Clemson Alumni Association, Mr. Greg Morton. <laughs> and Executive Director of the Clemson Alumni Association, Mr. Will Brasington. <laughs> Thank you. And now, I'd like to invite our Master of Ceremonies for the afternoon, Mr. Will Brasington, to come forward to begin our program. Will is a member of the class of 2000, and just as mentioned, he is the executive director of the Clemson Alumni Association. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Will Brasington. Thanks. Thanks. Yes, well, thank you, Jack. Good afternoon. It's great to see each of you. It's really good to be gathered uh, together here in this wellness arena for what is truly a very special day. Uh, as Jack mentioned, and as each of you well know, this past year has been a journey for each of us to say the very least. And our team at the Clemson Alumni Association, along with the Student Alumni Council, has been working diligently to create for you what we trust will be a very memorable experience today. Speaking of memorable students, you have created memories during your time at Clemson thus far that you will hold dear for the rest of your life. And today, we celebrate a remarkable milestone in your Clemson journey, you joining our more than 164,000 living alumni around the world by becoming the proud recipients of the Clemson Ring. To those parents and guests of our students being honored today, we know that due to safety precautions and limited capacity, all of your loved ones may not have been able to be here today. But we thank you for your understanding and for taking the time to travel here to experience this special moment with your student. The Clemson Alumni Association is indeed proud to sponsor this ring ceremony as part of our ongoing mission to celebrate and enhance that connection and to serve and enable all who love Clemson to remain actively involved in the advancement of our university. The association brings together alumni of all ages, all races, all geographies to keep their flame for Clemson alive and glowing. And we do this through events, get-togethers, various activities, regular communications, so that alumni always feel a part of the Clemson family. And of particular importance to those of you who will soon graduate, our association provides an array of services and networking opportunities to help our recent graduates begin their careers. More than anything, your Clemson Alumni Association unites all those who proudly wear the Clemson ring in celebrating our special kinship. I want you to know our mission is to keep all members of the Clemson family engaged in, informed about, and excited and inspired by all that is happening with Clemson and with our alumni. Nothing symbolizes that connection we share more beautifully or more powerfully than the Clemson ring. Over time, the Clemson ring has changed a little, but its tradition has always remained the same, and now you too are part of that tradition. 
to highlight the special history of our Clemson ring, which dates all the way back to the first graduating class in 1896, I hope you will enjoy the following video. Your ring tells a story, a story of the journey you took to get here, the dreams, the sacrifices, the grit. Your ring tells a story of opportunity, of newly opened doors, your key, a game changer, a career starter, a conduit to success. Your ring tells a story of legacy, the history of those who came before you, those who dared to be extraordinary in their pursuit of excellence. Your ring tells a story of selfless service, of wars fought and battles won, the thousands of bold men and women who risked it all and didn't hesitate to do so. Your ring tells a story of the dreamers and doers, the ones who dare to change the status quo, the students who become professionals, the interns who become experts, the leaders who become heroes. Your ring tells a story of kinship, of an unspoken bond. This is what family feels like. Our alma mater runs deep. This unwavering connectedness survives in a world that can easily divide us. Who shall separate us now? No one. Your ring tells a story of the person wearing it now and the person wearing it a hundred years ago. A lifelong network of family. Your ring tells a story of humble beginnings. The first ring formed and cut in 1896. The evolution of this small but mighty silver and gold Taurus. The updates, the upgrades, the tributes, the honor, the eagle of peace, the palmetto, the star, the hope. Dum spiro spero spes. As long as you have breath, you can fight on. Your ring tells a story of Clemson pride, of homegrown glory, unstoppable tigers, of championships won and victories to come. Your ring tells your story, your journey to get here, your blueprint for success. Your ring is your family, your link to the past, present, and future of Clemson, your friends, your classmates, your people. It's so much more than a ring. It's your story a part of who you are. It is your part of our story. Wear it with pride, tiger pride. Good afternoon, my name is Sarah Charig and I'm the vice president of the Student Alumni Association and the Student Alumni Council. As a Clemson student and a representative of the student body, it is my pleasure to join you on such a special occasion. As a group, we have overcome so much this year. We have faced the highest of highs and lowest of lows. Yet we have bonded together as a family in solidarity and love. And today we will strengthen that bond by joining together in the wearing of the Clemson ring. Along with graduation, this will be one of the most important moments of your college career. I hope you will cherish it as much as I know I will when I receive my ring this coming fall. The last year has brought much uncertainty as to whether we could join together for an occasion like this, and I'm so happy that we made it. We wouldn't be here today without the faithful leadership of the president of our, of our alma mater. President Clements, has had a major impact on this great university in service to students, to faculty and staff, and to alumni everywhere. He is a nationally recognized voice in higher education who is leading Clemson to unprecedented levels of achievement. Since he joined Clemson, applicants have increased from 19,000 in 2013 to a more than a record 46,000 this year. And during that same time period, research expenditures have increased by $68 million topping $219 million last year. Student success measures, such as retention rates and graduation rates, are at all-time highs. He has helped to raise more than $1 billion for our students and faculty, 
and the university has invested $1 billion in new construction. Please join me in welcoming to the stage Dr. Jim Clements. Thank you, Sarah, for that wonderful introduction. Good afternoon. Go Tigers. Come on, this is a celebration. Good afternoon. Go Tigers. All right. Thank you all for being here for this very special ceremony on this absolutely beautiful day. I'm honored and thrilled to be with you for your ring ceremony. And I can tell you that this is one of my absolutely most favorite Clemson traditions. This year, as the others have said, and as we all know, has been different. And it's been difficult. And it has presented us with many challenges. So I'm glad that we're able to gather together today to safely celebrate this very important milestone in your Clemson career. The ring ceremony is indeed another great Clemson tradition, and it's always a special day, but this year in particular, it is a bright spot. Many universities actually canceled events like this, as you know, or they held them virtually. But at Clemson, we are different, and we believed it was important for us to give you this very special day. Will you please help me thank Jack McLeod and Sarah Trawrig as the, uh, for their service as President and Vice President of the Student Alumni Council. And thank you to our undergraduate student body president, Will Reiner. You will hear him speak in just a couple minutes. I appreciate their leadership and the important work that they do. I also want to thank the uh, chairs for the ring ceremony, Jules Lewis and Grant Wilkins and their entire team. I know that they put in a lot of hard work to plan for this wonderful event. Would you please help me thank them? I also thank my colleagues on the stage, Will Brasington, Executive Director of the Alumni Association, Mr. Greg Morton, President of the Alumni Association, and Dr. Chris Miller. You know, rings, rings are important things. They have a tangible value as you will see in the video a little later in the ceremony about my very good and dear friend, Colonel Ben Scardin. Rings also have great symbolic value. The ring that I wear every day symbolizes the commitment that my wife and I made on our wedding day more than 30 years ago. My wedding ring celebrates the birth of a new family, my family. And in a similar way, your Clemson ring symbolizes an important rite of passage for you. And today is an important milestone in your life and in your journey at Clemson. For many of you, that journey started with freshman convocation when I had the chance to welcome you to Clemson. And it will continue when we meet again at graduation and you receive your diploma. But what does this day, ring day, actually signify? First, it means that you have successfully completed at least 90 credits of your academic work towards earning your degree. So pat yourselves on the back. That is a significant accomplishment at one of the best public universities in the country. About three quarters of your college career is now behind you, and the end is in sight. Second, it means that you have chosen, chosen a major field of study and a career path that you will follow. Your future beyond Clemson as an independent, self-sufficient adult is taking shape. Parents, I know that you are very happy about that and we thank you for your support. How about a round of applause for the parents? They've earned it. <laughs> Finally, many of you will leave this ring ceremony absolutely determined to make the best use of every minute you have left at Clemson. I felt that same way during my senior year in college, and I think you will too. 
Savor this time. Use it wisely and make it meaningful. You will never have a better chance to learn so much from so many diverse people as you will at Clemson. Wear your ring with great pride and with great understanding that upon graduation, you will join a family with more than 164,000 alumni worldwide. This is an incredible opportunity, but it's also a responsibility. You will be an ambassador for Clemson wherever you travel. Your ring will be a conversation starter and it will open doors for you. Soon you will be able to add your story to the ring stories that we will hear today. It's truly an honor for me to present you with your Clemson ring, especially this year when we've overcome so many hurdles. Congratulations again. Thank you for inviting me to part, be part of your Clemson journey. May God bless you all and go Tigers! Well, hello, fellow Tigers. My name is William Rennett, and I currently serve as student body president and also a member of the Student Alumni Council. I am honored to be here with you all today during this monumental time in your Clemson story. The Clemson Ring stands for many things, and as you will shortly see, it's even saved a life. At this point, you're on the back end of your college career. You're finishing up projects, wrapping up classes, and making those final memories that will last a lifetime. You will soon experience firsthand how far a Clemson education can take you and how much a Clemson ring can mean to you all. I would like to take a moment to tell you a little bit about my own Clemson story and why my Clemson ring will mean so much to me. Like many, my Clemson journey started before I was born. My parents met while they were at Clemson, and for our entire lives, they shared with me, my brother, and my sister how special the time that they had here was. I grew up right down the road in Anderson, South Carolina, and what started as a chance meeting between my grandfather and a man named Bill Davidson at a flea market in Williamson, South Carolina, would create a life-changing monument for my entire family. During that time, the, mo the two became fast friends, and my grandfather shared with Mr. Davidson that he had a daughter attending Clemson. Before they parted, Mr. Davidson invited him and my family to a tailgate outside of Memorial Stadium, where, they where my family became an extension of the Davidsons for the next 35 years. This tailgate began a love for Clemson I couldn't understand. Every time we drove onto campus, I could feel the excitement building. I was head over heels for the spirit, the athletics, the joy of Clemson. My favorite times were inside Little John Coliseum. As a child, I had the unique pleasure of watching the Tigers play basketball just behind a man I call my personal hero, President Emeritus James Barker. Even though I was a young child, he would greet me, cheer with me, and help me see how special Clemson really was. The campus became a safe haven until my brother Samuel decided Clemson was where he would go to college. Now don't get me wrong, my brother and I are the best friends in the world, but we are so much alike, and I was determined to create my own path. I was convinced I was going to Georgetown, but it didn't pan out. Then I was going to Georgia, but Georgia wasn't the fit I was looking for either. I tried everything I could not to follow in my brother's footsteps, but nowhere felt quite right. My mom was convinced the only place for me was Clemson and gave me the drive I needed to complete the application. So the night before the application was due, I submitted it, and later I would be so glad that I did. At the time, though, I wasn't happy about it. In fact, I was pretty miserable about, uh, miserable about having to come to Clemson. Most students will tell you they have this moment when they are on campus on their tour where they just know, this is home. I hadn't had that, and I didn't know if I would as I went through, my mo went through the mo movements of moving. It wasn't until convocation that I had this Clemson moment. It wasn't the exciting content of convocation itself that hit me. It was the first time I sang the alma mater as a student. No matter how many times I'd sung it before, it was shocking to me how instantaneously I was struck by a love for Clemson I hadn't known as a child. I suddenly found myself reflecting on all the times I had in Little John and celebrating Clemson with my family. I was absolutely in love and I couldn't deny it. And since that day, that moment of serenity has inspired me to do all I can to be involved and to make a difference in hopes of leaving this place a better place than I found it. Now, I don't have my ring quite yet, but I know I will not only, it will not only serve as a symbol of my time and memories at Clemson, it will forever be an example of the men and women that came before me. It will be a reminder of the sacrifices my mother, my father, and my grandfather made for me so that I can be in the position that I am in today. 
It will be a symbol of the connection I have with my parents and siblings since we all five will be graduates of Clemson now that my sister is attending in the fall. And most importantly, it will, will, will be a reminder that I'm forever connected to a family that extends far beyond my own flesh and blood. The Clemson Ring does not care about your race, your religion, and your personal beliefs because it serves one purpose. It binds Clemson Tigers together as one united family. Despite the different stories that are attached to each individual Clemson Ring, I know there is one thing that they all have in common. They are worn by Clemson Tigers. Soon your ring will hold a special place in your heart too. Always cherish your ring as it is the greatest example of the bond between those who have graduated from Clemson. It will forever connect you to your Clemson family and will open doors for you wherever you may go. I will forever be loyal to Clemson and I will always be proud to wear my ring. I know you will too. Very soon you will hear a story of Colonel Ben Scarden, a member of Clemson's class of 1938. Following a distinguished military career, he returned to Clemson as a professor of English. During that second career, Clemson students selected him as the alumni master teacher in 1977. In 2002, he received the Alumni Association's highest award for distinguished service. Today, we are honored to have the opportunity to hear his amazing story, and hear his Clemson ring literally saved his life. I have a uh, World War II story concerning my ring and it involved also two Clemson graduates. It had to do with my incarceration in a Japanese prison camp. The Bataan Death March occurred at the surrender of the American Filipino forces in 19, April of 1942 on the Bataan Peninsula, in the, which is off of the big island of Luzon, the largest island in the Philippine archipelago. Now we started out on the march and uh, it soon became very plain to us there's a certain amount of terror and what's going on because you saw people getting clubbed with a rifle, uh, punched with a uh, bayonet. And so we soon realized, look, as we made the march that the guards were looking for rings, watches, and in some cases your shoes. We didn't have boots. I took my ring off and I rolled it up in my sleeve, I believe, so that I never, from then on, I became very, very protective of the ring, never to pull it out and look at it or anything else, but I knew where it was. I was in very, very bad health in prison camp and there was no, no, no medicine, no way of improving your health. And I was teamed up with Henry Leitner and Otis Morgan. Henry was a class of 37, Otis a class of 38. And uh, almost everyone had been stripped of all their personal possessions, especially things like watches, rings, shoes, uh, things of that nature. But I'd managed to keep my ring hidden. And uh, I never pulled it out. I always had it tied up in a little piece of rag, put somewhere, some place, another. And then when it got to where I was going to have to be put over in what they call the hospital area in the zero ward, because that's where they took people that couldn't do anything for us, and uh, no one ever returned from there. Henry and Otis took care of me personally. And Otis uh, learned a little bit of Japanese and he became a, what we call an in charge. Uh, Otis uh, was able to uh, 
let it be known that he knew of a gold ring for, for trade for food. And they mixed up chicken and rice and they spoon fed me because I had this, couldn't see very well for one thing. But I responded to that so well, my appetite was restored. Uh, the, my eyes cleared up, my feet cleared up, and I was whole again, so to speak. Well, I've often thought about my little gold ring, which I'd hidden for so long, and I had no qualms about turning it over to orders for this exchange because there was nothing else that could be done. But I've always thought about that ring. And when I was married in 1947, my wife as a engagement president had my brother, who was a Clemson graduate, uh, replace the ring. The representative, Mr. Waters of the graduate of Duke University, who is the contract person for the makers of the Clemson ring, uh, at a very great surprise to me at the ring cer ceremony, presented me with this ring. And I've had it ever since, naturally, and uh, take a great pride and glory in having a ring that fits and one that uh, I'm very, very proud of. That's what's so remarkable about this story. I don't, I love to tell it because as I describe this turnaround from the benefits of the ring, it was actually, it saved my life. And that's, uh, people I think sometimes don't realize how serious I am when I say that it saved my life. President Clements and the Clemson Ring recipients. I regret that I am unable to personally attend this special occasion that bonds each of us together. Today is very special for you and me. I extend to you my best wishes for good health, success, and happiness, and my personal motto, ever loyal. Wow. What a powerful story about just an incredible human being, a great American and a true Clemson Tiger, Colonel Ben Scarden. It's always such a pleasure to share Colonel Scarden's story so that all who wear the Clemson ring, including each of you here today, can truly understand the bond of the Clemson family and the significance of our ring. We wish Colonel Scarden could be here with us today, and as he said himself, he's been present for most of our ceremonies over the past 19 years, but we're at least so glad that he could provide the special message that he just shared with each of us. Students, we hope that each time that you look at the Clemson ring on your finger from this day forward, you will recall Colonel Scarden's story so that the ring will be a constant reminder and inspiration to use your Clemson education, your Clemson experience, and your Clemson spirit to be of service to others wherever you may go in life. And as we prepare momentarily to present you with your own Clemson ring, I want to point out something that you might find to be neat. We've talked a lot today about the ring's rich history, and in fact, the video we watched earlier talked about some of the design elements that helped to make our ring very special and to make it stand out. Well, when you walk across the stage in a few moments to receive your ring from President Clements, inside the white box that you will receive, you will find another wooden box that contains your ring. Pay particularly close attention to that wooden box because you'll see that it was made from wood of, of trees that once thrived on our campus. These very trees, many of which fell due to old aging root systems, spent many years as the canopy of our campus that we all walked under at one time or another. 
and I hope that this box, as well as your ring, brings you fond memories of the special times that you experienced at Clemson. So now, it's time to celebrate and recognize each of you as having earned the right to wear the Clemson ring. And on behalf of your alumni association and indeed the entire Clemson family, we applaud you for this impressive accomplishment. And now, without further ado, please allow the presentation of class rings to begin. Matthew Gabriel Raven Gilmore Grace Galco Carter Gallant Samantha Galloway Will Galloway Joseph Galmiarni, Mallory Galloway, Ben Ginsberg, Jamie Gamble, Olivia Gamble. Travis Garceau, Georgia Garner, Cameron Garner, Stover Garrison, Tracy Gartner. Tristina Catno, Kaylee Gettings, Alexa Guest, Hunter Gentry, Ryan George, Emily Gertis, Hannah Gertz. Robert Geddes, Riley Gibbs, Bailey Gibson, Matthew Gibson, Ashley Gilbert, Jefferson Giles, Walker Gillespie, Megan Gilman, Caroline Gilmer, Maya Giordano, Amelia Giovanni, Gabriel Giron, Aaron Glass, Brett Glennon, Courtney Glover. Shelby Ganizic, Caitlin Goad, Faith Godfrey, Madison Godfrey, Sarah Anna Goff, Mary Goforth, Ariana Golden, Joshua Goler. Errol Gonzalez, Davis Goodrow, James Goodwin, Caroline Gassette, Emily Goad, Hannah Gowen, Tyler Grady, 
Catherine Graham. Morgan Gratian. James Grant. Matthew Grant. Kayla Gray. Dawson Green. Emerson Green. Rachel Green. Mary Gregory. Nicholas Gregory. Reagan Gregory. Lee Gresbeck. Caroline Kistler. Jillian Griffith. Amelia Graubel. Lauren Grossclose. Madeline Grumet. Adam Gard. Marco Graleski. Yana Gudakova. Mackenzie Guerrero. Hannah Guerriere. Natalie Gacanenzo. Margaret Gurley. Gerardo Gutierrez. Charlotte Half. Catherine Hadley. Duncan Haggerty. Mary Hagler. Kevin Hale. Meredith Hall. Tanner Hall. Whitney Hall. Megan Hallahan. Gloria Halencia. Caroline Ham. Cade Hamilton. Charles Hamrick. Oscar Haney. Catherine Hannes. Callie Hardacker. McKenna Hardy. Anna Hardyman. Carolyn Harper. Luke Harper. Gavin Harpst. Callie Harrelson. May Harrelson. Katie Harris. Maggie Harris. Megan Harrison. Victoria Harrison. Charles Harrison. Caitlin Hart. Catherine Hart. Madison Hartsock. Brent Harwell. Amir Hassanarich. Mesa Hasbrook. Sophia Hassan. Skylar Hawkesworth. Skylar Hayes. Caroline Haney. Ileana Hebda. Madison Height. Evelyn Heinz. Callie Hossie. Allison Hendershot. Natalie Henderson. Charles Henry. Lauren Henry. Ashley Henthron. Catherine Herbie. 
Trip Herlong. Brantley Hewitt. Cheyenne Hicks. Elise Hildebrandt. Sage Hinton. Charles Hitson. Seth Hoban. Claudia Holcomb. Grace Holiday. Josie Hollingsworth. Amanda Hollowell. Megan Hook. Matthew Hooker. Wyatt Hover. Alexia Hopkins. Ellison Horton. Tanny Horton. Breonna Howard. Tiffany Howard Smith. Catherine Howie. Jung Chim Hu. Jade Hong. Quinn Hubarth. Ashby Huckabee. Meredith Hudgens. Aaliyah Hubble. Bianca Hewitt. Bradley Hughes. Shelby Hughes. Christina Hummel. Edie Humphrey. Justin Hunt. Tyler Hunt. Shelby Hunter. Noelle Hurley. Mary Huss. Haley Hutchins. Philip Hutton. Nicholas Ipok. Cayman Irax. Alexander Irby. Angel Iriagamo. Jamie Islin. Lisa Jackson. Sophia Jackson. Terry Jackson. Renee Jacobs. Isabel Yonke. Nicholas Jamrog. John Jenkins. Larissa Jenkins. Annie Johnson. Beverly Johnson. Julia Johnson. Mariana Johnson, Meredith Johnson, Patrick Johnson, Samantha Johnson, Sarah Ann Johnson, Tanner Johnson. Thomas Johnson, Jacoby Johnson, Kenitra Johnson, Dan Johnston, Lee Jolly, Ashley Jones. Bobby Ray Jones, 
Elijah Jones. Elizabeth Jones. Haley Jones. Mary Jones. Taylor Jones. Tia Jones. Kennedy Jordal. Brooke Jordan. Caleb Jordan. Jacob Jordan. Tatiana Joseph. Haley Joshi. Evelyn Duckett. Taylor Judge. Chris Colley. Bailey Callis. Holden Kammerer. James Kalogaras. Morgan Kaufman. Gabrielle Kale. Raymond Keen. Courtney Keen. Carolyn Kearns. Michaela Keenan. Will Keener. Cameron Keelty. Caroline Keller. Owen Keller. Chloe Kelly. Colton Kelly. Lindsay Kelly. Zachary Kelly. Charles Kennedy. Katarina Kepler. Madison Kessler. Cameron Kite. Scott Kimball. Evan Kimbrell. Lydia Kennard. Daniel King. David King. James King. Madison Kingsbury. Madison Kippis. Alexandria Klossmeyer. Lauren Kirkley. Katherine Kimsick. Faith Niece. Taylin Niece. David Node. Rachel Kosek. Louisa Coleman. Noah Konsek. Derek Kozadar. Ioakim Kachukis. Lauren Koju. Alex Coleman. Ellie Cutts. Alyssa Labdon. 
Asa Labelle. Diana Latticer. Donovan Lefever. Nicholas Lagruta. Karina Laird. Caroline Lamb. Connor Lambert. Anna Lamontaine. Matthew Langley. Margaret Langland. Aaron Lattice. Joseph Lavala. Madeline Lawry. Coy Lawson. Andrew Lawton. Danny Lazega. Martina Leak. Audrey Leaphart. Joshua Leckie. Deontay Lee. Brooke Leach. Camry Leith. Emily Lenning. Grace Lenardi. Elena Lasher. Emily Lay. Cole Lewis. Lorenzo Lewis. Allie Lindler. Stephanie Linky. Sydney Linscott. Lauren Linton. Ashlyn Little. Chandler Little. John Little. Michael Littlejohn. Franklin Lofton. Brady Loggins. Chase Lawless. Emily Lohman. Michael Long. Katie Lonsdale. Brianna Lopes. Carlos Lopez. Steven Lopez. Jasper Lott. Hope Lewis. Nicolette Lohman. Julia Loy. Emily Luce. Jessica Ludden. Jake Ludwig. Julia Lunt.
Madison LeBrand. Bryson Lyles. Sarah Lynch. Karina Mace. Sam McPhee. Christian Macias. Sydney Mack. Michael Mackey. Bailey Maddie. Brittany Magana. Georgia Mahoney. Jimmy Mai. Genevieve Maiello. Grace Mala. Tyler Mandel. Kenan Miner. Josie Mangelardo. Jordan Mann. Katie Mann. Sarah Manning. Melina Manis. Celeste Marchant. Grace Marchese. Teresa Marinaccio. Sydney Marinelli. Natalie Markley. Jillian Marlowe. Megan Marcheski. Hannah Marshall. Natalie Marshall. Sophie Martell. Blake Martin. David Martin. Emily Martin. Georgia Martin. Thomas Martin. Kristen Martindel. Liliana Martinez Ramirez. Julia Martone. Jacob Mason. Bentley Macy. Caitlin Macy. Sean Macy. Jake Masters. Mary Alice Match. Destiny Matthews. Andrew Matthews. James May. Maeve McArdle. Tessa MacArthur. Kayla McAvoy. Jada McBride. Ellie McCabe. Stuart McCain. Caroline McCall. Jenna McCall. Alana McCallion. Sellers McCants. Chandler McCarl. Maggie McCarter. Hannah McCarthy. Karen McCullum. Ryan McCormick. Aaron McCoy. Haley McCraw. Tyler McCraw. 
Emily McDaniel. Hannah McDowell. Noah McDuff. Annie McElvenny. Colleen McCarvey. Zachary McGeehan. Matthew McJectric. Brett McIntyre. Molly McKay. Maddie McKenzie. Sam McEarly. Sadie McKinney. Bailey McMahone. Morgan McManus. Alexandra McNair. Taylor Medley. Christina Miller. Isabella Mejia. John Meldrum. Grace Mellert. Andrew Melton. Jeremy Mercer. Abigail Merck. Julianne Merck. Wesley Meredith. Noah Smoke Mervac. Charlie Metcalf. Elsa Meyer. Julia Meyer. Molly Mika. Amanda Michaels. Joseph Mahalik. Darian Michael. Amanda Mikus. Libby Milano. Abigail Miller. Jordan Miller. Catherine Miller. Logan Miller. Mary Miller. Tiana Miller. Brooke Miller. Grace Mills. Hannah Mitchell. Cameron Mitchum. Caroline Mitchum. Justin Mofield. Dresden Mall. Aman Monda. Caroline Moniz. Julia Moniger. Belton Moody. Alyssa Moore. Ansley Moore. Claire Moore. Elizabeth Moore. Elliot Moore. Emma Moore. John Moore. John Moore. Riley Moore. Taylor Moore. Caroline Morales. Acadia Morgan. Hannah Morin. Chandler Morris. 
Emily Morrison, Bobby Morrison, Jackson Morrissey, Meredith Moser, Brooke Moses, William Mossbrook, Logan Mossberg, Davis Motley, Dylan Mott, Brian Mulder, Kelly Moyd, Shelby Mazingo, Tanner Munich, Juan Munoz, Amanda Murray, Jackson Murren, Will Musharella, Mania Myers, Matthew Myers, Summer Myers, Summer Galman, Zoe Jackson, Lauren Kreckel, Charlize Minder, Good afternoon. I'm Greg Morton, and I'm president of the Clemson Alumni Association. Uh, it's always such a pleasure to participate in the ring ceremony, and it's extremely special to be a part of this one. To our speakers and members of the stage party, to the Student Alumni Association members and the alumni staff, and to our hosts here at the well, thank you for your helping us honor these new wearers of the Clemson ring. Each of you went to great lengths for many months planning this ceremony so that all of us could be here today and that we could remain safe while giving these students the ceremony they deserve. To our family members and guests, it means a great deal to these students and to us that you were able to be here and celebrate this moment. And to those of you who are now wearing those new shiny rings, I can't pass up this opportunity to remind you that the Clemson Alumni Association is your lifelong connection to Clemson. As long as you're in touch with the Alumni Association, we'll keep you in touch with Clemson. I hope that you will always remember Clemson and what it has done for you so that you can help future Tigers have the same Clemson experience that you've had. For now, wear your Clemson ring with your class year facing you until you graduate. When you graduate, have another alum or family member turn your ring around and place it on your finger. Then shout to the world, I went to Clemson. As I close out the program, 
just a, a reminder, family and guests, please exit the arena through the main entrances where you entered and meet your student outside once everyone has exited the building. Please do not make your way to the student seating areas. To our students, you will exit the arena through the loading dock, the same location where you entered the building. As you're leaving through the loading dock, you will receive your congratulatory ring crest glass from the Clemson Alumni Association and Student Alumni Council. We ask that all students and guests be mindful of social distance and ensure that you are continuing to wear your mask as you are leaving the building. And if you're able to visit Clemson before you head back to your respective hometowns, I'd like to encourage you to consider supporting our local businesses there. Many of them have felt the impact of COVID-19 and could really use your support. If you didn't receive your Clemson Business Directory booklet when you arrived, please check in at the doors as you leave so you can take advantage of some of the offerings of those local businesses. Now, if you would, please stand and join me as we sing the Clemson Alma Mater. Best wishes from the Alumni Association as you approach graduation and move to the next stage of your Clemson experience. Travel safely and go Tigers!